Triathlon is contagious. We know that, that's probably how we got into it. And it rubs off on kids too. And there's no better feeling as a parent than when your kid gets excited about the sport that you're excited about. But where should kids start their triathlon journey, both for enjoyment and longevity? We spoke to the experts and discuss kids in triathlon. Your kid might have already shown some interest in triathlon, or maybe they're just showing some promise in running or swimming and you want to introduce them to triathlon. Whatever the reason, you want to support your kid the best you can on their triathlon journey to wherever that might end up, maybe even the Olympic Games. We spoke to Head of Children and Young People at British Triathlon, Amy Crow, to pick her brain about all things kids doing triathlon. Amy Crow, Head of Children and Young People at British Triathlon. Thanks so much for joining us on GTN, and uh, we're going to talk about all things kids in triathlon. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about your job and what you do for British Triathlon? Yeah, definitely. Um, so quite a new role for British Triathlon and for myself. Um, so in the middle of pandemic, we knew that we needed to have a really big focus on children, keeping them active over summer, keeping them active in school because we're in school at that point. Um, so that's where my, my job came from. Um, we've had a huge focus around keeping children active in that education setting, but also at home as well. So, yeah, head of children and people, obviously it covers quite a lot. Um, it's about getting children into the sport, but also keeping them into the sport as well. And also having a bit of an impact on the families as well. So not only bringing the children into triathlon, but also bringing the parents and families as well. So yeah, really exciting time for us. Should kids be doing triathlon if they have aspirations later on, or should they be swimming with a swim squad, running with a cross-country squad maybe, and just biking on the weekends? Yeah, we get asked this question quite a lot actually, and to be honest, it's quite an easy sell for triathlon. Like, what parent doesn't want the child to be safe in water? To be able to ride bike, balance bike, scooter, you know, just be on their wheels, and also to be able to walk slash run. Um, so we've spoken to quite a few families actually over the past year, and they're absolutely loving it. There's a lot of um, families and children that don't actually realise that if they're really, really strong swimmers, actually, can they run out that fire exit and do a lap around the field? And hey, presto, they've done a, an aquathlon. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really trying to promote the fact that it's swim, bike, run. Sometimes triathlon can put people off because they see it on the TV and think, whoa, that's mega. Like that, that's too much for me. But actually, if we split it into those components of swim, bike, run, then, you know, it's achievable for everyone. Um, so yeah, I'd absolutely, going back to your question, I'd absolutely say it, it's for everyone. It's life skills. Um, so it's something that we really, really want to promote over the, over the next few years and beyond. As Amy says, most parents are keen to see their kids outdoors doing sports. And swim and bike and run are the most popular. And a triathlon encourages them to do all three. Even if they don't carry on with triathlon, they might stick with one of those sports which will encourage them to have a more active, healthy lifestyle later on in life. So how do you get your kids into triathlon? If you're already a triathlete, you can drag them along to your events and uh, hopefully they get encouraged. But let's face it, kids have more fun doing things with their peers, or at the very least, doing a triathlon with their parents rather than watching their parents. While British Triathlon believes that the best way to get kids doing triathlon is to get triathlon into the schools. So we know British Triathlon, it, it's a really vibrant national governing body. We want to get as many people involved as possible. Absolutely, we want to build the next Alex Yee, the next Johnny Browning, the next Georgia Taylor Brown. Um, but we also want to make it so accessible and go into those communities that may not have access to bike. People look at triathlon and think it's expensive, but we're trying to break down those barriers. Um, so that's why we're working to build our workforce of not only coaches and activators, but also teachers in schools because we just think it'd be pretty awesome to embed triathlon in the curriculum. So actually, you know, children are going to school, they might be playing hockey, they might be playing football, they might be playing rugby. But if we can get triathlon in there as part of their swimming curriculum and, you know, those bike ability sessions and just embed it there, 
then families and children will hear about it, you know, way sooner. Um, a, a little example of that is we've, we've just been working with 20 pilot schools on our Active Skills for Life program that we've just launched, where we upskilled 40 teachers. Um, they, all the children went home with a little certificate and some went home with a t-shirt. And out of 25 children in one school, five parents came in the next day saying, where's our local club? So just having, you know, having that influence over the children and just opening their eyes. We know they don't know what they don't know. Yeah. Um, so just taking it to them, I think it is a huge challenge and a huge opportunity for us over the next few years. But if your kid's school doesn't yet have triathlon as part of the curriculum, you can still get them involved or get involved yourself with them. Something I'd really, really like to see in the future is more family events where adults, parents, aunties, uncles can participate with their children or even like run into the transition area and get the helmet on them and you know so they can speed off. Um, so at the moment our offer is age eight plus. Um, something that we really like to pilot and we're actually starting to pilot is this family family events and also under eights as well. It happens, we, we're very aware that there are some multi-sport events that are put on for under eights, but it's not something that British Triathlon permit at the moment. Um, okay. so, so watch this space on that piece. Um, okay. In the next couple of years, if we can get age four plus doing it, then I think we've had some huge success in the whole children and young people world for sure. Definitely, yeah. Well, I mean, my twins are almost two and they're, they're tearing around on their balance bikes, but I'm um, I'm trying not to be the pushy parent who pushes them into triathlon just yet. They're, uh, they're almost two. Just tease them, tease <laughs> yeah. them into they're, almost, they're almost two, so I'll start pushing soon, but not, not yet. <laughs> I'm not actually pushing my two-year-old twins to do triathlon. I'm pushing them to do tennis or football. Anyway, if your kid has shown an interest in doing a triathlon, there are more and more kids' triathlon events happening all over the world. They used to be sideline events at major triathlons, things like Iron Kids. But today, there are more and more kids' triathlons, even dedicated only kids' triathlons. Yeah, so we like to bring children into the events. Um, obviously, triathlon is a lot about the clubs and events as well. Um, we have a range of events on offer, though, including TriStars. So if children wanted to get involved in a participation side of things, they can go into the, the Go Try events that are very, very low distances, not necessarily timed, very, very affordable. Um, we've then got TriStars, so they can come in at age eight, so they have to be eight by the 31st of December. Um, so we have some seven-year-olds as welcome in. And then that TriStars goes all the way from TriStar start from age eight through to TriStar three at eight, up to age 13, 14. So it's a really nice progressive pathway for them. They do do timed events. They're really friendly events as well though. So we have some children going into TriStars that have never actually done a multi-sport event in their life yet and then they're just blown away by it and they just carry on, on and continue on that pathway. Um, so, you know, they get to come back to the website, see their times and it, it just creates that nice, friendly, competitive vibe for them as a really nice introduction into the sport. Great. Yeah, I, I looked on the website and there's a, there's a lot of events um, and, and for all ages, it's it's pretty cool. And you can and you can see from the from the website the kind of progression through to to youth to development uh, and even on to like Olympic programs later on uh, you can kind of almost see the pathway right there mapped out in front of you which is great because I can tell you when I was a kid there was no such thing there was no such kind of pathway that led me to triathlon it was just kind of luck that got me there if you're interested in what a kid's triathlon actually consists of there are various distances based on experience and age from novice eight-year-olds up to experienced 18-year-olds they start with a novice age 8 to 10, which is a 50 meter swim, 1500 meter bike, and a 650 meter run. And then the tri-stars start from age 9 to 10, which is the more experienced kids, with a 150 meter swim, a 3k bike, and a 1.3k run, all the way up to youth and junior age 15 to 19, which is a 400 meter swim, a 15k bike, and a 5k run. And you'll probably see these kids jump up to the sprint distance, where they might even win the sprint distance triathlons in their area. So what if your 13 year old is interested in triathlon and not in a, I'd enjoy trying that this weekend kind of way, more of a, I'm gonna be better than Alex Yee kind of way. Is there a rush to get them into it or should they take their time? With it being an individual sport, I'd say there's no there's no hard and fast rule with that one. Um, like we've already alluded to, people come into TriStars, children come into TriStars at age eight, 
some don't come in until age 13, 14. And I think it's really great that we've got that flexibility of that pathway as well. Um, as they start to get more and more serious, they may move into regional academies, like, you know, age 15, 16, 17. Um, but that support is there throughout, whether they want to stick to doing friendly, nice welcoming events, or they really want to focus. So really, I can't put a hard and fast age to say you have to start being serious at this age because it's it's completely up to them. Um, but I mean, if there's a love for the sport and you know they've, they've got the bike, they've got the wheels, that they've got access to a pool, then they can start being serious at, at whatever point. But I think what we really, really try to encourage is that they love it, they get a love for the sport first, and then absolutely if they want to go down that performance pathway we will guide them through that and support them with everything that we have and all the resources that we have um but yeah really it's we see some eight like nine-year-olds that are aspiring to be alex yee because they've seen him on the tv like you've said and awesome you know if they're happy doing that then they're happy enjoyment is always paramount and there is a school of thought that the best way to prepare a young triathlete for triathlon is to avoid triathlon altogether and focus on swimming and running. Myself and my wife were both moderately successful triathletes and my wife didn't find triathlon until she was 16 and was recruited as a top swimmer runner and I didn't find triathlon until I was 20. The skills used for triathlon, swimming, biking and running are broad movement-based skills rather than fine motor skills. Practically, this means that they are broadly transferable the ability to endure, aerobic conditioning, and learning how your body responds to various effort levels can be learned doing any one of the triathlon disciplines, or all three, or even doing a sport that isn't part of triathlon at all. But that's not to say your kids should avoid triathlon. As we have already said, triathlon is available in lots of forms from a very young age. So stoking their love of triathlon from an early age is not necessarily a bad thing. So, to summarize everything Amy has shared with us today, definitely get your kids into swimming and running. Seek out groups or clubs where your kids can play triathlon. And then do a search for local triathlon events where your kids can participate in for fun. And remember, fun is always the main goal. And we'll leave you with this tip or word of caution, I suppose, from a top coach of juniors with high aspirations. Make sure that when they reach an age to start training seriously, kids haven't worked so hard already that they have no room left to improve. We hope today's video has given you some direction in getting and keeping your kids interested in triathlon. If you have some experience in getting kids into triathlon, yours or kids in general, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, and if you have some questions on kids training or even your own training, remember you can use the hashtag GTN Coaches Corner in the comment section of any video and we'll answer your questions in our weekly GTN Coaches Corner video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you in the next video.